welcome to signal and system lecture series here in this session i'll be going to explain time scaling property of laplace transform so first i'll define what is time scaling property and then we will derive that time scaling property and at the end i'll solve one example based on time scaling property so it will be clear to all like how we can apply that property to solve problems based on laplace transform so let, let us define time scaling property now see if we have signal x of t and laplace transform of that signal is x of s then time scaling that will be x of at and laplace transform of that has to be 1 by a x of s by a so this is what time scaling property of laplace transform so let us try to derive this property now see as we know laplace transform of signal x of t that is x of s and that is minus infinite to infinite x of t e to the power minus s t dt so to derive this property let us consider laplace transform of signal x of at so if i say y of t that is x of at then laplace transform of y of t that has to be infinite to infinite y t e to the power minus s t dt and y t is equals to x of at let us place that over here now to make this formula in terms of laplace transform easier all we will be doing is i'll be considering at is equals to constant lambda so if i consider at is equals to lambda then one can say t is equals to lambda by a and dt is equals to d lambda by a so let us place this in this basic calculation so minus infinite to infinite x of lambda e to the power minus instead of t i need to place s lambda by a and instead of dt i need to place d lambda by a so this a is constant take it outside so i'm taking it outside so this is what laplace transform of y of t and y of t is x of at so this will be x of lambda e to the power minus s by a into lambda d lambda so if you observe this term if you observe this term so this is what actually x of s by a it is what laplace transform of s by a x of s by a so we can say this is 1 by a into x of s by a so laplace transform of x of at that is 1 by a into x of s by a so this is how we can prove this property i hope that you have understood this now see to get better understanding let us consider one example so it will be more clear so here if i say i have signal x of t and laplace transform of that signal is 1 by s plus 1 then question is find laplace transform of x of 2t then question is find 
Laplace transform of x of 2t. Now you see Laplace transform of x of 2t as per this basic property we can say it is 1 by 2 x of s by 2. It is what 1 by 2 x of s by 2 as per this basic property. And we know Laplace transform of x of t that is x of s and that is 1 by s plus 1. So instead of s if I replace that by s by 2 then that will be x of s by 2. So this will be half into 1 divided by instead of s I need to place it by s by 2 plus 1. And if I simplify this 1 by 2 take LCM so this will be 2 will be in numerator s plus 2 like this 2 2 will get cancelled so this will be 1 by s plus 2. So this is how we can easily simplify problem based on Laplace transform using time scaling property. So this is so essential property which will be utilized in examples. So I have explained you this basic example in future you will be getting many more examples based on Laplace transform. So where you will be finding by using these properties we will be able to solve this problem so easily. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give your valuable suggestions. Definitely based on it in future I will make videos which will be solving your queries. Thank you so much for watching this video.